Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Borderlands Weekly Video Podcast Thingy. I'm sorry that you don't have anything better to do with your spare time or you're wasting your company's time and money. There you go. All right, I'm wasting mine, but that's okay. I do it just for you. It's because we care. So today is September something or another, but it's Wednesday and it's comic day. It's the day of all goodness. I mean, think about it. We get 52 Christmases every year. And it's today. And my God, the elves were busy. There's a lot of stuff. So let's get moving. Um, all right, guys. Graphic novels this week. Yo-ho, Guardians of the Galaxy. Everybody likes it. And Angela. What? All right. Francesco Francovilla worked on that. He's amazing. Revival from our friends at Image. And this even has the Chew crossover in this one as well. So if you're a Chew fan, that's good as well. The Witcher from Dark Horse. If you like um, Hellboy or Baltimore or any of that, this kind of has that feel. I really enjoyed it. It was good. Goosebumps goodness. Guys, we are expanding our kids section. So please keep your eye on that. We're going to be designing a new rack that we're having built and uh, try to get a little more product over there in a way that's easier for you to look at. Wayne Van Zant, if you want military history comics, the guy's amazing. Red Baron. Did I mention there's a new Harley Quinn this week? What? Previews. All right. So this week, Alpha Red Robin. Yes. Robin Rises Alpha. Sorry. DC is in previews. And Cable. What? Marvel Select. Good stuff. You go to the comics. Previews guys list everything. Comic books, games, toys, statues, you name it, it's in previews. Uh, we're actually finishing up our order for this month. That previews is for next month. If there is something that you were really wanting that you thought was in previews, uh, go ahead and let us know. If you get a message to us today, uh, we actually can probably get that still into previews. So give us a yell. We don't mind. All right, huge stack of comics as usual. It's a huge week this week, guys. Some Mighty Avengers action with Luke Cage. Who's getting a Netflix series, might I say? Some new Avengers. From our awesome buddies at Valiant, Exo Man of War, written by Robert Venditti, guest of South Carolina Comic Con. Awesome guy. Wrote some kind of movie thing. I don't know. Legendary, steampunky. The Marvel previews, because Marvel is special is what it is. Accept it. Learn to live with it. They have their own previews with an ad for S.H.I.E.L.D. the comic book written by none other than Mark Oh My God Wade. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Future's End, like every week, and Batman Eternal as well this week. Outcast number four, three, four. I forgot. Outcast number four. Don't forget to check out Scott Snyder's Witches. Ad for that on the back. I'll say again, guys, Scott Snyder was absolutely amazing last week. Uh, chatting with him, he was awesome. Please support Batman and Witches. That guy's fantastic. He was just really, really nice. Low from Image. 3D cover goodness for Justice League Dark. G.I. Joe number one. Guys, we do have a bunch of different variant covers for this. We just thought this one was particularly awesome. Deadpool 35. Some David Tennant, Doctor Who. Catwoman in 3D. What? Who wouldn't want Catwoman in 3D? I mean, really. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. All right. So Baltimore. Really one of my favorite books. I, I'm, shh, don't tell anybody, but I might like Baltimore better than Hellboy. I really like Hellboy. Baltimore's amazing. I love it. Booster Gold. Batman 66. This book's been really good, guys. And a lot of people are coming in checking it out that aren't normal comic guys because of the new TV series, DVD release and everything. Folks are excited. Aquaman and the others in 3D, which is really appropriate. The American Dad throwing the goldfish on the back. I thought that was kind of fun. All right, Amazing Spider-Man 1.5. And they had 1.1, 1 1.2, 1. Come on, guys. That's actually kind of silly, don't you think? Anyways, thought it was crazy. They have Alex Ross covers. It's fun, but the numbering makes my head hurt. Amazing X-Men 11. Flash number one in 3D. G. 
G.I. Joe Zombie number one in 3D. Guardians of the Galaxy 19. There was just a guy trying to show me salt and vinegar potato chips as an evil tease. And I'm trying to eat good. And I probably won't because I'll probably eat them. That's why I was looking over to that side. He's a big meanie. His name's Jake. Throw eggs at his house. Harley Quinn number one. I'm just kidding. Don't throw eggs at his house. Maybe water balloons. I don't know, the eggs would be kind of fun. Red Lantern number one. Hey, we like it so much, we did it again. Sinestro. Superman in a helmet. He really looks more like Wildfire. And if you're a DC nerd, you'll get that. Superman doomed. Saga. I believe uh, Fiona Staples is going to be at NC Comic Con in about a month and a half, something like that. Uh, we will be there. The guys at Ultimate Comics have always been nice to us, good guys. Uh, tell Alan and everybody you said, hey, go check them out. Uh, Thunderbolts, 31, a little Red Hulk goodness. And guys are going to laugh at me, but this week they specifically aimed back issue at my nerdiness. So back issue is fun. If you like the bronze, particularly bronze, they hit a lot. They do hit some silver age stuff too. Um, this is a great book. So this week they hit the Adam and the Bronze Age, the story of the Micronauts, DC Comics Digest. This Blue Ribbon Digest are really geeky and fun, and Marvel Value Stamps. Guess who's reading this cover to cover? And you should too. It's great. The guys at Tomorrow's do a great job. So merch oh my god like i'm not even gonna remember it all so we got in some batmobiles from eagle moss we got in some of the star trek ships we know a lot of guys have been digging those um we got in screwdrivers for doctor who these things fly the hottest thing this week is going to be this so it's the batman death of the family with an amazing joker mask from where he cut his face off and put it back on as a mask kind of defeats the purpose seems kind of weird and you could have cut somebody else's face off and put it on as a mask, which would be awkward and no one would really understand what was going on, but it did seem weird. But you can wear Joker's face if you choose to. It's kind of weird, but you could wear his face. You could do it. You can pull this off. Speaking of wearing people's faces, there's a zombie Magneto down there, Marl Select. It's pretty cool. Captain America. Um, the small statues have done really well because they're not that expensive. The Batman box set with uh, Batman, who's it got? Batman, Harley, Joker, and Nightwing. And I think this thing was from the uh, DLC from the video game from Arkham City. That's what somebody was telling me. I haven't played it. It says it's great. But I'm always doing stuff like shooting podcasts. I don't get to play video games. I know. Listen. Uh, Watchmen. Rorschach figure is fantastic. Sons of Anarchy bard board game. Turtles Banks. Um, Harley Quinn wallet. What else did we get in this week, guys? Some DC Direct, Batgirl, and Red Robin figures. Godzilla. The Godzilla figure is amazing. We also got in from Marvel Select, uh, not Marvel Select, Diamond Select, I believe is the term. Uh, the Van Helsing and Creature from the Black Lagoon re-releases. Uh, one of the aliens. And there's a big Magneto from Eagle Moss down there that goes with the Marvel chess set. Um, if you're doing the DC or Marvel chess sets or you're wanting them for Christmas, let us know, guys. We have a huge inventory of those. Um, even if we don't have it out, we could have sold it, still have it in our overstock. We'll be happy to hunt it down. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. So, now, um, what else is going on? On October 5th, we'll be at Super Pop, which is a convention in Columbia. On October 7th, we have the Flash premiere party. That'll be at Embassy Suites. Check our events page. Micah might even be throwing a link up to that right now because he's amazing. Not that I'm putting him on the spot or anything. He's giving me a dirty look. Um, that party's free. You get to see Flash when it premieres. There'll be freebies and all kinds of neat stuff there and door prizes. So make sure you check that out. October 15th, we start the History After Dark series at the Upcountry History Museum. We'll be showing the PBS documentary about the history of comics as well as talking a little bit about it, answering questions from folks, and having some neat displays there of vintage items and things that maybe you haven't seen before. And there's a bunch of stuff after that that I'm forgetting. October 11th will be at one of the Greenville Public Libraries. We'll have a link up for that as well. Uh, speaking, One of us will be there speaking before the uh, Batman documentary that they are showing. Um, October's nuts. So, as always, guys, we appreciate all the support you give when we do these events. Um, 
Also make sure you go check uh, the St. Baldrick's page for Children's Cancer Research. We have a team there, so we're looking to get as many people on that team. That's not till March, but we want to start building it up, let guys start fundraising, growing out their beards. Every week when you see me, I'm not shaving this until March, so it's going to be pretty fun. I think by the end of the winter, I'll be dying to get this thing off my face. And uh, well, I think that's it. Try to go as fast as I could. I know you guys are, are wasting company time looking at it probably. But uh, feel free, give us a yell at borderlands.us, borderlandscomics at gmail.com. Check us out on Facebook, sccomicon.com. There's a Twitter thingy. You can call us, 2353488. Come by the store, 1434 Lawrence Road. Or just stay home and take a nap because we're nerds and we're lazy. It's what we do sometimes. Thanks. Have a good one. Why does Nightwing get eyes and Batman doesn't on the action figure, do you know? It's kind of weird. Nightwing's dreamier. Is that what it is? He looks like a Muppet, like... Maybe Miss Piggy will like him. Uh, okay, kind of creeped out. All right. Ready? Yep. Well, let's do this.